Michael has studied the science and has been on his radical vegetarian diet for three years. That's because fruit and vegetables are the best source of vitamins like A, C, and E, all rich in antioxidants. But fruit and vegetables alone will not greatly extend life. Michael also plans to reduce the amount of dangerous oxidants his body produces. He's doing this by eating half the amount of a typical adult. We know this works for rats and mice. Seventy years ago, scientists discovered that having the diet of a lab rat can double its age. But will it work for humans? After three years of dieting, Michael visits a medical clinic to have his biological age assessed. A good estimate of how fast someone is aging is to measure the thickness of the aorta in the neck. So we're going to use an ultrasound transducer in order to give us a picture using sound waves. And we're actually going to measure the lining of the artery just to ensure that there is no thickening occurring there. So it's this one that we check very carefully because if this is ha has a major block, and in your case, yours is nice and thin. When you said those words, it made a tremendous difference to me because it shows it's the first actual evidence I've had that perhaps my diet is doing something. Can I have a picture of that? You can have a picture. We'll make a nice picture for you. Michael is encouraged. Although other tests will follow, he's convinced he's winning the age war. But a lifelong diet is a greater commitment than most of us would like to make. Scientists are hunting for a simpler approach, the holy grail of age research, a genetic switch that could turn off aging altogether. In San Francisco, the quest is on for a genetic cure to aging. Dr. Cynthia Kenyon has found a switch that in some animals literally turns back time. It's a gene called DAF2. By switching it off, Cynthia has been able to increase the lifespan of animals sixfold. So it's really remarkable because it tells you that there are genes that are controlling the rate at which the animal ages. And once you wrap your mind around that, the possibilities are endless. Cynthia has been able to turn off the DAF2 gene by feeding the animals bacteria that disable the gene. When the gene is switched off, the animals age a lot more slowly. The really wonderful thing is that they stay young longer. So, for example, in human terms, it would be as if they were 90 years old, but they looked and seemed for all the world like 45-year-olds. Cynthia has repeated her experiments successfully on flies and on mice. How big a leap from mouse to man? Every other time that scientists have found genes that do something the same way in a worm and a fly and a, a mouse, invariably they turn out to do something very similar in humans. Okay. So if these genes didn't also affect aging in humans, that would be a surprise. If the same gene controls aging in humans, switching it off could be as simple as taking a pill. And whether you're in your 70s or your teens, Cynthia suggests the pill would still have an effect. What's the time scale? It could be in just a few years if we're really lucky. If Cynthia is right, there will come a time when we could all live much longer. Age is being attacked on all fronts. Its power is diminishing. But who will score the final victory? Will it be Diane taking human growth hormone? Or Michael on his calorie restricted diet? Or Donald and Debbie and their pharmacy of antioxidants? Or will it be the pill being developed to turn off the aging gene? The promise is great, but the stakes are high. 